and then a Greg Zarnold rendering specialist at Autodesk. And just we'll cover how to use the distance shader to create these abstract renders in combination with the ramp RGB shader and the click geo shader. We'll also cover how to use MASH to create these interesting distributions of some spheres. So I'm going to start off by creating a polygon cube. Just scale that up and down in Y. And then a polygon sphere. And then I'm going to use the uh, MASH it's a mesh network, so we can, we can distribute it. Maybe add a world node. Uh, set the class mode to Fibonacci spiral. Scale mode to expand to nearest. Maybe just move the cube up a little bit. We just want it to clip the spheres to clip the cube. So next, we'll create a clip geo shader for the spheres. So that to the sphere. We shall assign it to the mesh network and then we'll create another shader so standard surface for the cube so that call that cube okay so for the colors we'll create a ramp rgb and then connect that to the base weight of the standard surface I've already got a preset of some colors I'm going to use but feel free to use your own colors the only thing I mention is Try and make sure you have like a, a, some black in between the colors so we can get uh, this interesting sort of comic book graphic art, almost pop art kind of look. So yeah, just put a bit of black in between the colors there. Make sure the type of the ramp is set to custom so that we can connect a distance shader to it. Our color R to the input. Okay, so got the cube shader is the standard surface, ramp RGB to the base color, and the distance shader to the input of the ramp. Okay, so I'm going to start for render viewport. It should give us something like this. So we're almost there. We could tweak the distance value, so I'll just decrease this to two or three, because it's pushing out the colors more. Um, just give it a bit more variation, I'm going to add a um, Shader to the file color. So I'm going to add a cell noise here it's just to break up the ramp, give it more of a random uh, sort of pattern. Set the coordinate space to world. Uh, to see what additive, maybe increase the octaves. You can see these scales too small, so I'm going to change the scale to something like 0.2. So now we're getting, you can see the cell noise is kind of filling in the the gaps and giving us this uh, interesting look. So that's pretty much it. We could always go back to Mesh and maybe just change some of these settings to get some interesting arrangement of uh, spheres and patterns. We could also just disable the world and just work with the, the grid. So we could increase some of these grid values. You can add a random or an influence to break it up. Like so. so, yeah, just experiment, try different uh, mesh uh, distributions, and have fun. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.